Hello artists, today we're going to paint and bead our sculpted owls. To begin, you're going to need a few supplies. First, you're going to get your sculpture of your owl. You're going to collect one or two paint brushes, maybe a big and a small, a set of watercolor paints, and a tray for your water. You're going to begin by waking up your paint with a little bit of water. Dip your brush into the water, stir that into the paint that you would like to choose, and then you can go and start painting on the wings of your owl. As I paint, I'm making sure I use the top tip of the brush to paint back and forth on my owl. I do want to make sure that I try and get the edges or the outside of the owl, and if I need to hold it so I can paint that inside of the wing, I can do that. Notice that I'm not taking a lot more water. I just need a little bit of water to get my paint flowing. You don't have to paint your owl realistic colors. You can choose some fun colors and paint that however you would like. When you're ready to paint the beak and the eyes of your owl, you might want to switch to a tiny brush. You can dip that tiny brush in the water and then the paint to wake up the paint and just tap it into those little sections. Those little sections are the hardest, but using that little brush is going to help you. Notice how I'm wiping my brush to change the color. Remember, the choice is yours for which colors you would like your owl to be. Make sure you use good craftsmanship and take your time painting your owl. Now we're going to be beading our owls. In order to begin beading, you're going to need a few simple materials. The first one is a pipe cleaner, and the next one is going to be several beads, which you can pick as you go along. To begin, fold your pipe cleaner in half to find the middle point. You're now going to see that there's two different legs. You're going to put the top part of your pipe cleaner through that hole in the owl's head, and then you're going to twist those legs around one time, two times, and three times. Separate those legs of the pipe cleaner and now start stringing beads onto the one side. You're going to create a pattern with your beads in whichever type of design that you want. My pattern here is blue, pink, yellow, and green. So now I'm going to go and do the same thing on the other side. As I'm working, I'm going to keep looking back and forth between the left and the right to make sure that my pattern is going to be in the correct order. Notice how I have the same colors on each side as I go up. The next step is to take your branch from the tree and you're going to take the top leg of the right side and twist it around a few times. Make sure the pipe cleaner goes all the way around and you don't have any little edges hanging off. Do that onto the left side, twist that pipe cleaner all the way around, and then you are done. Great job, artist. 